All right, well, how's it, boys and girls? Welcome along to Cooking 101 Crispy Style. <laughs> so, a lot of you have been asking for more how to videos, so I thought I would go through my process of making venison jerky. So, I've got some nice fallow uh, deer. This is the one we shot the wee while ago um, on our possum spotlight at night. So I've cut that into strips, uh, cube strips rather than sort of long skinny strips. Um, so yeah, so I just cut that up. And my way of doing uh, jerky is more, it's more of a coating than trying to soak the entire meat with a marinade right the way through. I still like the meat flavor and all I'm really doing is a bit of a coating. And it is very much a, yeah, crispy kiwi special. I don't really measure anything. I just throw a few bits and pieces together and yeah, see how it comes out in the end. So first of all, um, clove of garlic, finely uh, mixed up or uh, chopped up. A bit of Worcester sauce. Worcester? Yep, I've definitely got Worcester. Wow. Well, <laughs> I have my wife in the background coaching me along and laughing at me and picking me picking on me. And I also put soy in here as well. So Worcester and soy. And not too much of it all because ultimately you're only putting a coating on the meat. Um, I'll only leave the meat overnight. I'm not going to marinate it for 24 hours. I just want to put a nice coating on the outside of the meat uh, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor, but not take away from the nice gamey uh, venison uh, flavor. So, heap of salt. Oh, if it'll work. Typical, isn't it? There we go. So a bit of salt in there. And the thing that makes it uh, stick to the uh, meat and give it that nice sweet flavor is a good dollop of New Zealand Manuka honey. Alrighty. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do. Stir that up, get that honey all more nicely mixed in. Now again, I don't have a dehumidif uh, dehumidifier, a dehydrator. And so what we'll be using is the oven. And I'll leave this to soak overnight. And tomorrow morning, we will crank up the oven to about 80 degrees and we will slow cook these hanging from the top, uh, top uh, tray for three to four hours, maybe five hours. We'll just keep checking on it as, as it goes. Uh, you definitely don't want to uh, overcook them. They end up being uh, tough as nail sticks. <laughs> um, but yeah, you certainly don't want to undercook it as well. You want to get it just perfect. It's all right. You take a container. So as you can see, it's all nicely stripped up the meat. So this is, you can use any part of the deer. Um, I've actually used a bit of casserole um, and some, what else, some hocks, just the leftover bits and pieces. Um, I do like my steaks, so <laughs> I'm saving those. Right, and all we do is we just Pour that mixture in there. And the easiest way to mix it all up is just to use the old mitts, get the hands in there. Make sure that all that meat gets a really nice coating. So 
So if you want it really strong, you can put a little bit more uh, mustard sauce on it maybe. Um, if you want like it really salty, go nuts on the salt. Um, and if you like it super sweet, put a bit more honey in it. Um, yeah, the mixture is really, it's, it's nothing set in stone. It's just whatever you want to feel like on the day. Of course, that would really mess with my wife's OCD. <laughs> Right, so that is all fairly much coated and mixed up. There's no liquid on the bottom now. So we will put a lid on that for the night, pop that in the fridge, and we'll see you back here in the morning. Alrighty morning team, so the venison has been marinating overnight, looking good, smells absolutely divine, and I've got some toothpicks here, you'll see those in a minute, that I've been soaking in water overnight, and you'll understand why in a minute. Right, so let's start hanging this in the oven, and um, yeah, crank it up. So I've got baking paper on the bottom there, just so it doesn't dribble all over the place and make a mess. Get those out of the way. Alright, and we shall. Uh, on the lowest we can go. No, that might be a bit too low. <laughs> okay. We'll go 80. And get that cranking. Oh, look at that, guys. All nicely shriveled up. <laughs> right. We'll get it out of here. It's been in for about four and a half hours, so it's well and truly done. We'll get it in and do the old taste test.
there you go guys, uh, venison jerky, crispy kiwi styles. So it's just got a coating on it, the marinade hasn't gone right through the uh, all the meat, so you've still got that nice gamey deer flavour um, with a nice coating on the outside. That took four and a half hours on about 80 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, door slightly ajar on the oven just to allow enough airflow so the moisture didn't build up inside. And yeah, guess the old uh, proof will be in the taste test, won't it, buddy? Yeah. Alrighty. There you go, munch down on that wee bit. What do you think? It's pretty good. My wife is just out of camera, doing the gagging symbol. She doesn't like jerky. Doesn't appreciate fine foods. Don't like jerks. Don't like jerks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it, buddy? Can you taste the honey? You've still got that right barbecue flavour, hasn't it? Mm. Perfect. Absolutely stoked with that. So we're going to chat down on this. And uh, yeah. Until next one, guys. Happy hunting. Mm. Mm. Pretty good? Yes. Gonna try a little bit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Real chewy. Okay, You don't like that? Oh, it's actually pretty good. I don't have to do that video again, I don't pop it. Thanks very much. Right. Proof will be in the taste, won't it, buddy? Yeah, go for it, mate. It's good. Peyton! You just stuffed up that video. Why'd you do that for? Thank you.